About two weeks ago, I helped break the news about the New York police investigation into Kira the Wolf closing without charges being pressed. From the beginning, I have speculated the statute of limitations was a contributing factor, but I couldn't be 100% certain. As I explained in my previous video, bestiality is classified as a misdemeanor crime in New York, and their statute of limitations on misdemeanors is two years. The police could only charge Kiro for an episode of animal sexual abuse that occurred on or after November 2016. Any abuse that occurred before then couldn't be dealt with by the law. I wanted to take a look into the evidence and see if I could find any hard proof to back up my theory. The Furvengers who sent this evidence to the police were very gracious and showed me what they had. The majority of what I'm going to be talking about here can be credited to them and their hard work on this case. This evidence was originally sent to the Pennsylvania investigators, who then forwarded it to the New York investigators. I spent the last couple weeks looking it over and doing some digging on my own to see what conclusions we can draw. Contrary to what some people are saying, the video sent to New York was not any of the videos from the original Zoo Sadism evidence leak. Kiro had nothing to do with the production of any of those videos, and doesn't even appear to be the one to have sent or received any of them. The primary evidence submitted to the New York police was a suspicious video uncovered on 8chan in late October of 2018. The video depicted a large black and brown dog with long hair being molested by a mostly unseen camera person in a dark room. This video and a document breaking down how it implicated Kiro was delivered to Pennsylvania police, who then forwarded it to New York police as it looked to be evidence of a crime happening in that state. A public version of the document was posted to Mega.NZ on November 7th, but it got taken down, likely due to containing uncensored stills from the video. Obviously, I can't just play that video. Not only would it get this video taken down, it would probably get my entire channel deleted and end with some very angry knocking on my door. So I'll stick to the important parts and show you what I can. The dog in the evidence video is identical to Coda. He has the same facial pattern as well as the same white patterns on his front paws and his chest. The dog in the evidence video has a red collar, and in a video Kiro uploaded to Vine, Coda could be seen wearing a red collar. The camera person in the evidence video is never fully visible, however, we do see some of their clothing. The first is a pair of black tennis shoes with black and silver arch patterns on the sides. The second article of clothing is a sweater with long black cuffs and an asymmetrical striping pattern on the left and right sleeves. Kiro wore the same shoes and sweater to the January 17, 2015 Pennsylvania Furries Cosmic Fur Bowl event. Here's a breakdown of the shoes. The white stuff on the shoes in the video is likely snow, because in the video you can see the camera person's breath which meant it must have been filmed on a cold day. And here's a breakdown of the sweater. So we have video of a dog identical to Kiro's dog being molested by someone in clothing Kiro owns. Why wasn't this enough for the police to get a search warrant? Well, you can see the camera person's lower face briefly in the video. I had to censor this still so hard, I still don't feel entirely comfortable putting it on a YouTube video. If you really want to see it and make sure that I'm not just pulling your leg, I did post it in the Twitter thread I made about this information, and I'll be putting a link to that in the description, but I'm not going to be using that here. Uh, anyway, it's a little hard to make out the face due to overexposure, but you can see they are clean shaven. If you've seen photos of Kiro's face, you probably know he usually has some kind of facial hair. Even at the Cosmic Furball meet where he wore the sweater and shoes, he had facial hair. The only photos and videos of Kiro being clean shaven come from 2014 or earlier, which means this video may indeed fall outside the statute of limitations. But who's to say Kiro didn't just shave his face sometime between 2016 and 2017 and make that video while he was clean shaven? He was often wearing his fursuit head in videos and photos. Maybe he did shave during that time and we just never got to see it because he was always covering his face. It's not like facial hair is gone forever if someone shaves. So how can we really narrow down when this video was created? 
I decided to do some digging of my own, using what I've accumulated over the past few months. The first was trying to find the original Achan thread the video was posted to. Maybe more information was available there. This was... not possible, as Achan has effectively been shut down. I was able to find the link to the Achan upload of the video, which also didn't work because, again, Achan is shut down. However, if we look at the end of the URL, we can see a file name. Movie underscore number 27 underscore 20141129 underscore 002340.mp4. I then checked the archives of Kiro's Beast Farm activity, where he had uploaded photos and videos of himself abusing Coda. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video explaining Kiro's connection to Beast Forum. But as a quick summary, Kiro was a Beast Forum user under the name The Dogman 2, and we know this account was his because The Dogman 2 and Kiro had identical personal information, and The Dogman 2 was uploading photos of Kiro's dog before Kiro uploaded them to places like Fur Affinity. However, like 8chan, Beast Forum has been shut down, so if the video was up there, I wouldn't just be able to view it. I figured the most I would find was a handful of probable dates. Rough ideas held together by suggestive information from comments or thread titles that would be ultimately unprovable if they were talking about the same video that had been sent to the police. Instead, I ended up finding the exact second he hit the record button. Giving a blowjob to my dog. Posted on November 29, 2014 by the Dogman 2. Well, been here for a while and still haven't posted anything. But tonight, that's gonna change. I've decided, hey, I should start giving back to this community, since I watch other people's videos all the time and never share any of my own. Well, here comes a short video I made tonight with my dog. He's an Australian-German Shepherd mix, and he loves it when I give him blowjobs. Here's some pictures and videos from a few moments ago. Hope you enjoy them. Here's the video. Sorry it took so long. Attached file. Movie underscore number 27 underscore 20141129 underscore 002340.wmv. The exact same file name from the 8chan upload. Kiro's Beast Forum account is the source of the video sent to the New York police. The file format is different but it's easy enough to convert a WMV file to an MP4 file if you have basic video editing software. This explains what the jumble of numbers in the file name are. They're the date and time the recording started. November 29th, 2014. 23 minutes and 40 seconds past midnight. A date two years too old for the New York police to do anything to charge Kiro with either bestiality or distribution of this video. Of course a judge wouldn't sign off on a warrant for a search or an arrest based off this evidence. They legally couldn't. Kiro could have shown his full face, stated his name, and confessed to what he was doing, and the police couldn't do a damn thing.